Hello friend, good evening. I hope you will be fine there. This is your host Khan Baba. God will give you more happiness and long life. I try to my level best to give you latest update about the Nar. So please like and share my video with your friend and family, which will help me for supporting. And now let's start the today information. I'm pretty much proud to tell you that you are witnessing Iraq set the stage to revalue right now. It's happening. They are preparing to revalue. All the evidence is here. There is no question it's happening. Iraq confirms World Bank's intention to promote fiscal policy reforms. And here is the humdinger of the day. Al Sadani sets the date for the opening of the port of Al Fao and decides the future of the presence of the coalition forces in Iraq. The future is they will be gone. This is not just the U.S. They want to leave, but the entire coalition. He said it began in 2014 and ended today. This is huge news. Decisions have been made, and they no longer need them. They are moving towards independence. It is all good news today. A lot of people out there talking about this lop business. The bottom line is a lop doesn't do anything for Iraq. First off, I don't believe for a moment the IMF would allow them. Iraq's focusing on telling everybody. Their inflation has been contained for years. There's no hyperinflation, so a lop is completely out of the question. Will the IQD gradually increase? In the float when it's in the international basket, yes. That's when you want to pay close attention. The problem is we don't know how much time we have to exchange the Iraqi dinar. You may not even be able to participate in it, but I think we will. Most revaluations and reinstatements of currency worldwide historically give you at least six months to a year. Once the three zeros are deleted, establishing IQDs rear, then the rate will go up in increments. That's not what you want. You do not want them to delete the zeros before the rate goes up. If they delete the three zeros off your currency, then your twenty-five thousand dinar becomes a twenty-five dinar, and then they raise the rate. That's not going to help you. We'll see what happens. Something interesting from a whale: a couple of currency whales have exchange appointments in March. It may be they are setting appointments for after the event reset. But it is interesting, and these whales are not under NDAs yet. I have heard from three of those right now. These whales have spent hundreds of thousands on currencies. One of them has spent millions. I will tell everyone who has been in this speculative investment for a long time: this couldn't be a worse time to sell your dinar. I compare it to a severe storm. You must have the guts to weather the storm. When the storm finally does really end, it's over and done, and then you move on to a better life, knowing you weathered the storm and received the blessings that come afterwards. The rewards are great. Thank you and take care.